Um, this is Nikki Rowland for Lottie Loves Paper and today I'm making a mini book using the fabulous Crepe Paper Magical Forest collection. Um, so this mini book is going to document a series of photos about my daughter. She had a uh, an assignment from school uh, which was to um, take us on a tour of her local area. So we had to plot the map and we had to take loads of photos along route of all the um, interesting things uh, that she had plotted on her map. So um, this mini book um, is going to document that. So it's going to be called Which Way and I have two signposts cut files that I've cut uh, using um, Paige Evans uh, cut file from the uh, Silhouette Design Store. Um, so um, like I said I'm using the Magical Forest uh, collection for this one. Um, I have um, made a spine, you can see it there, in craft cardstock. Um, it's a really easy spine to make, it's just a strip of cardstock and then um, I've left a long section at either end and then several concertinas in the middle. Um, so that means they're just half inch uh, score lines um, and then I've folded them uh, in concertina style. So up and down and up and down <laughs> um, and uh, I end up with about um, four peaks um, in the middle of the album and then the two large uh, pieces either end uh, which is which forms the front and back cover so now I'm just cutting my pages and they're really easy to cut they're just um, pieces of paper and then they fold in half uh, to create the page I'm going to stitch around all of them so that each one is a pocket so I will leave the top edge open um, and I'm also cutting them all different sizes um, this is a really great way to um, use up your stash of pattern paper that you have left um, it does use up quite a lot of paper so if you're short on paper then perhaps it's not a great idea um, but uh, if you have plenty um, then uh, then this is um, perfect. Now I was a little bit short on paper so I had to improvise and I went back through my old stash and I pulled out a couple of sheets of uh, previous crepe paper collections. Uh, that pink one there um, is a perfect match in terms of the pink tone that's in the rest of the collection. The other side was full of hearts so it was from a Valentine's collection from a couple of years ago. Um, so uh, the heart side obviously didn't work but the um, the pink side with the stripe was perfect. So I had a whole sheet, I think I had two sheets of that. So I used one as my page and then I've also used it to mount all of my photos because by the time um, I got to that point I um, had hardly any of the paper left over whatsoever. Um, so um, so yeah, there you can see that I have my spine and I have all my pages um, sorted. Um, I'm hoping to create some uh, extra flip ups um, in this book at this point. So I'm just going through and working out if there's any way I can add some extra pages. So that pink one there, um, I've pulled out a piece of the mustard uh, paper with flowers on um, and uh, it's got pink triangles on the other side um, and I'm just making it a I'm not making it a pocket it's a single layer um, and I've just made a small score line half an inch in and then I have stuck it to what will be the inside of that pocket and then when I stitch it through it will be stitched in between and that gives me an extra little flap um, that uh, flips open and gives me an extra page effectively um, I'm now doing exactly the same with a piece of the vellum um, the speciality vellum um, paper from the Magical Forest collection. So again I've cut it to size and then I have scored half an inch in on one side and I'm going to tuck that half inch score, scored piece inside uh, one of the pockets that's not been stitched yet and then when I stitch it it will be captured inside and again gives me another little flip up um, an extra page to um, put things on. Um, so I'm struggling at this point because the I wasn't sure how the copper Speciality rainbows on vellum looked over the uh, rainbow paper, uh, so I spent a bit of time um, figuring out where I'm going to um, put that. Um, and then I toyed with the idea of adding um, another page here. I was going to add another flip up in the normal way, um, but I decided at this point to create a flip up instead of a flip out. Um, so I'm going to um, create that using a journaling card um, and a piece of um, cardstock. So I've just pulled out a piece of kind of cream uh, colored cardstock and I've cut it to a slightly bigger than the, oh, exactly the same size as the journaling card sorry that I want to use um, but I've left an extra half inch um, strip at the top which I've scored so the journaling card sticks directly on to that flip up there and then the uh, flip over bit the the half inch um, scored piece just goes inside the top part of that pocket now I have to 
sew that, no I don't, I have to stick that in place because I'm not going to be sewing um, across that piece uh, when I come to uh, finish off my pockets uh, because it's the top edge so therefore that is going to uh, remain open so I need to stick it inside uh, without sewing it there. So, But because of the uh, way it is, it's a flip up, um, there's not too much pressure on the, um, on the score line um, so I'm not too uh, concerned about just it being sewn in place, uh, sorry stuck in place and not sewn. Really want to use my sewing machine today don't I? <laughs> um, so um, you can see that the mini book's coming together now, I've got all of my pages sorted. Um, those two, the front and back cover will um, go around the large pieces of the spine um, and um, then will be sewed in place so again there is no possibility of this mini book falling apart ever. Um, I have made one of these mini books recently and I was worried that my adhesive would not be strong enough. Uh, I don't have the best adhesive. It's a gr it's great for scrapbooking but it's not great for um, excellent holding for um, something like this. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm just adding my pockets um, around each of the concertinas. So um, I am actually going to stick um, them in place first and then run them through my sewing machine. Um, so you can see what I'm doing there, I'm just sticking them over the concertina pieces, um, now you can't see the concertinas at all, um, and I'm going to do the same with my front and back cover, um, but I'm going to do that later once I've stitched these um, these pages in place, or oh, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm going to do it now, no I think I do do it later, I think I just looking at to make sure they were the right size. Um, so what I'm going to do now is um, go and use my sewing machine um, and stitch down each one of those um, concertinas. Now this means that my concertinas are no longer concertinas, they are stitched together um, so that they do not um, open out like an accordion anymore, they are sticked together. So it gives me a very compact spine uh, which I'm absolutely fine with, I'm happy with, um, it gives me that security that my pages will not fall out of my mini book later so I'm happy with that but I have lost the concertina effect. I know I would when I was doing this um, so it's a slightly different uh, binding to what I did previously um, but I'm really happy with it because it feels very strong and secure and that ultimately is my is my aim. So now just sticking on the front and back covers and I'm going to do the same uh, with them, uh, stick them in place um, and then go and sew them on my sewing machine and again they will be pockets so there is nothing um, um, there is no stitching along the top um, edge. They are they are open at the edge, but they are stuck. Sorry, they are sewn all the other way around. Okay, so I've got to the point now where my mini book is basically complete and just needs embellishing now. Um, so I am um, sticking some ribbon around the spine of the mini book. I'm leaving um, a bit of uh, flex uh, around the spine just to. Um, make it so that I can open it nicely and I'm leaving the ends nice and long because knowing me my mini book will probably be quite bulky um, and therefore I want lots of ribbon so that I can uh, tie it together um, and hold it in place even though it is pretty bulky. Um, so I'm using some uh, wood veneer from my stash. I have a whole bag of wood veneer pieces that I need to get used up um, so I'm just pulling out some bits that work and I'm going to dot it throughout this mini book because the wood veneer obviously goes really brilliantly with the Magical Forest collection. It's a very similar tone. Um, so I'm just working on my front cover. Um, once I've done my front cover, I'm going to go and embellish the rest of the mini book um, off camera um, and then I will um, show you a flip through once it's all done. So I've just mounted the frame onto a piece of pattern paper um, so it's got some backing um, and stuck that onto my front cover. Now I'm adding one of my um, uh, signpost cut files that I prepared earlier. Um, it's by Paige Evans and it's available in the Silhouette uh, Design Store. Um, I've already backed, I cut it twice and I've backed it in, um, in that one is cut craft with pattern paper on the background and the other one is cut from the same pattern paper but with craft as the background. Um, so um, yeah that uh, works really well. Adding my little cute fox there, I just love him so much. We didn't see any foxes on the walk that we went on but um, <laughs> it was, uh, it, you know, he's a woodland creature and we went through the woods so 
it works. Um, so I'm now adding my title which is going to say which way um, with a question mark so that is my title for this book um, because I say we were on a tour by my daughter she's only nine so showing us around the local area uh, was uh, quite amusing she really did act the tour guide as well she wore a badge um, and she had her map all the time and she pointed us in the right direction and she pointed out where we were going and what we should be looking at it was really really cute Okay, so this is a flip through of the completely finished mini book. Um, all of my journaling is now in place. Um, so I'll just take you through the book itself. I've just written a little uh, title on the front there. Um, and uh, I will show you how everything is complete. So my first page, um, we have the map um, and just some embellishments. And then in this first pocket, we have two pieces. Um, that's blank at the moment. I could put another photo on there or um, or uh, some more journaling. So they just come out of that pocket there. Um, then over here, um, just this page there. This one here, I really like the way that it comes off of the page. Just extends that page out a little bit. Um, then this one, um, this page is not a pocket. Um, this one is, and then you can see in here I have uh, two items, both with photos. Um, I really liked these. These This is a great use for ephemera. I can use these uh, because I can decorate the backs um, but keep the front as they are. So that's really nice way to use up some of that odd ephemera that you can never use. Um, and um, here we have the flip up page there. Um, and I've got my journaling in place. And these little bits come out of the pockets. So those two cards there that are so cute. And then um, those bits on the back, so a photo and um, some journaling. And they just go back inside the pocket. Oops, I can't get them back in now. Okay, then I have my cut file here of the signpost that's repeated because uh, I have it on the front as well. Because um, she's standing at a signpost looking very confused. <laughs> then I have my uh, vellum page there with the unicorn. And on the back I have that wonderful um, that wonderful uh, rainbow. I was going to call it a bow then. Um, okay, then I have my little explorer and two more pockets. Things that go in the pockets even. So just two little bits there. So photos and some decoration. Not a lot, but a little bit. And then we have got this page here, which flips open, so to reveal another photo. Um, and then final page here, um, I have got this piece here, which is completely blank, so that just sits in the pocket really. And then my two photos and the journaling on the back. So that is my completed mini book. Very, very cute book. And on the back, I've just got that best kid ever. And I can just tie it closed with my piece of ribbon, striped ribbon. And that's it, all done, all complete. So I hope you have enjoyed this little mini book. Um, yeah, okay, that's a flip through, all finished.